it's the second annual Retro Station Christmas Special with special guests, Overseer of Planet X, some special surprises, more Retro Fantastic Christmas commercials, and a visit from Space Santa Claus from outer space. All this and more on the Retro Station second annual Christmas Special. We'll be right back after these messages from our sponsors. A Christmas gift from Radio Shack. Before Christmas, they claimed they were bored. But then I found Radio Shack's incredible selection of electronic games. He's rescuing the fair maiden with the Kingman game. She's exploring dangerous new worlds with Zackman. And with the alien chase game, he can do space battle with an opponent or by himself. <clears throat> there are more gifts if anyone's bored. I won! Fascinating electronic games from $7.95 to $59.95. Only at Radio Shack. Come with me to a place you'll be glad that you did. Get free! And so much more a star with Toys R Us Kids. <laughs> what we want, Jeffrey. You want Cabbage Patch Kids, and everything Cabbage Patch is at Toys R Us. We've got the most Cabbage Patch Kids. Cabbage Patch Kids World Travelers. Collect them all. Wow. The Show Pony and Kid. The whole world of Coleco's Cabbage Patch Kids at out-of-this-world prices. It's the world's biggest toy, so let's go! Clap on. Clap on. Clap on. Clap on. Stop clapping. Let you turn things on or off from anywhere in the room. Just plug in the clapper and a television, lamp, stereo, almost anything you want to clap on and off. Clap on, clap off, clap on, clap off. Stop the clapper. Clapper is available at Meyer, Perry, Hills, and Osco. Okay, hologram trimmed, festive graphics, um, graphing. Oh boy! Cambot Jr., we are sitting on the best year ever in terms of holiday cheer. Indeed we are, Splat. And lucky for us, too, because we just ran out of last year's finest fruitcakes, proving once and for all that Santa actually visits everyone. Yeah, thanks to Cynthia the Good Games Fairy. What a magical lady. Evaluation time. Report to stations. Splat, keep doing whatever it is you do around here. You got it. Right away, ma'am. This can't be right, is it? Oh. Do I gotta? Two years in a row? Get upset on the internet! Hi everybody, welcome to Retro Station 1989. This is our wonderful Christmas special and this is licensed to play at... You know what? This is bull honky, okay? This is bull honky at the honkiest level. I'm talking Mike Pence level of honky here, okay? I'm talking John Lithgow honky levels. I'm talking the cast of Little Caesar honky, okay? All honky and mostly bull. Commander. Yes, Margo. What were you ranting about, Commander? Nothing. Honkies. Whatever. What did you need? Well, it's almost Christmas, and the sponsors from Planet X have their yearly personal evaluation. Oh, yeah. I saw that. Well, this year... I can't help them because I don't have a copy in the hologrammatic representation of my game collection. So as much as they'd love to see that ridiculous thing reviewed on this show, I just can't do it. So ha ha ha. Commander. <sighs> Friday, a holiday tradition for 21 years. I've killed it. It's time once again for America's favorite Charlie Brown adventure. It's an Emmy award-winning special. It's a Charlie Brown Christmas. Then he's back, the original cool guy. And this time he's going to melt your heart. So chill out with Frosty the Snowman. Share the holiday spirit Friday on CBS. Okay, everybody. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to look out the porthole or check out for a star out there. And I'll wish the hell upon it, just like I did last year, for Cynthia to come and save our little Bunsen burners again this year. Work once for us, why not twice? All right, here we go. No song this year, just I'm going to wish. I wish. I wish. Oh, ho, ho. Uh, Looky what Santa's got here. Looks like someone's being a bad little man-ape and trying to deny his kind benefactors their space Christmas wish. Someone's being a dick. Uh, Santa? Yeah, you fucking wish, Earthling. No, ho, ho. I am Space Santa Claus. From space! 
and your ass is officially on my Christmas dick list. Just like all of Earth, full of dicks who don't deserve Christmas or fruitcake. Oh, damn. You're from Planet X, aren't you? Uh, I'm sorry, Space Santa. How do I get on the nice list? There ain't no nice list. There's the dick list. Or I leave you alone and don't do magical she and he danigans to you and your primitive genitals. Mmm, primitive genitals. Magic! You're bluffing. See, one thing I know for a fact is that magic, other than Cynthia, I guess, is hogwash. Bull hunky of the hunkiest order. You know what Heinlein says about magic, don't you? No. He said, don't be a dick to Space Santa, or Space Santa will irradiate your genitals with space rays. That magic enough for you, ape man? But this is Jonas Brothers for the 3DS. I don't deserve this bullshit. Don't swear at Santa, you dick. Oh, shit, sorry. Fuck, what the fuck is your fucking problem, you fucking shit ass? Wow, Space Santa from space swears like the space sailor. Anyways, I showed up last year and flooded your hole with fruitcake because fruitcake is the bomb. And this is how you fucking repay me? Total dickless move, chief. You're right, Space Santa Claus from space. Please don't put anyone aboard the retro station on the dick list, okay? And please bring presents to the crew. Aside from some basic sass from Splat, they've been totally rad this year, and they deserve all of their wishes, especially the fruitcake. My only wish is not to have my primitive genitals fried by gamma rays or whatnot. Okay, I was a little hardcore. But don't screw around. Evaluate Jonas Brothers and do it good. I'll know if you don't try, Cockmonger. Space Santa, ah! Sure thing, Santa. Wow. I think I broke space and created a Space Santa. Merry Christmas. Hear me, fruity pebbles in the bowls. Oh, oh, here comes you know who. Yabba dabba fruit, delicious do. Oh, ho, ho, I'm ho, ho, hungry. Santa, my pebbles. Your pebbles. Tis the season to be sharing, Fred. Happy holidays, pal. Oh, Fred. Fruity and Cocoa Pebble cereals, part of this nutritious breakfast. Ho, 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 ho. Is CBS. These are the Deedles. We met them. They were a corporate fiction. No one then nor now knows what in Splat's name a Deedle is, nor at this point do we give a crap. These are in sync. No one cares about them anymore either, with the exception of maybe Justin Timberlake because of his special and problematic Christmas gifts. Speaking of problematic, let's talk licenses about these. Three. Gentlemen. Looks like three Judd Nelsons. You know, I'm old. I've lived through Menudo, New Edition, New Kids on the Block, Crisscross Cross wearing their clothes backwards, and Sync Backstreet Boys, and I made it a point not to engage with children bands singing about non-children subjects if they know a damn thing about any damn thing. There, do I sound old to you now? Because I am. That. Meaning old. So, when Space Santa from space, tells me to evaluate the video game based on this license, I gotta ask, this is the retro station. Retro. This game is only 13 years old. 12. This game doesn't have the age or experience to know its ass from a hole in another ass. So I will evaluate this. I'll evaluate it right. Well, as best I can through the red mist of seething anti-corpo rage. Harumph, I say. Ha, huh? rumpf. Look at this thing! Alright? It's a freaking postage stamp. It's not a real game. Well, how is that a game? When I was a young man, games were heavy like the Nintendo 64 where a sock full of those bad boys could knock out any zombie attack or anyone trying to stop and steal your lunch money. That's not really a game, is it? Compared to a Nintendo cartridge or a Genesis cart, it's pathetic. And by the way, getting footage for that, which I played a little bit but cannot tell you why, <laughs> I, I played it to the end, and it's fine. But I didn't play it only. There's other people on YouTube who played it and eviscerated it, which is fine. You should watch that too. Links down below. So I got a bunch of that footage because I couldn't capture it on my stupid hologrammatic computers here because it's just terrible. Not the DS. The DS is actually pretty great. I like Final Fantasy. But that game, such as it is, is awful. So... It was two hours of my life I won't be getting back, no matter how I try. And I got no way to put DS footage on there. 
So I'm relying on a review, all right, and I watched it. It's an hour of hate from another grown man playing this game, and let me tell you, watch that after you watch this, okay? But first, a word from our sponsors. Show and tell time. Another teddy bear? <laughs> My teddy's name is Teddy Ruxpin. He talks, he tells stories. He... <laughs> Four batteries not included. Hi, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. Can you and I be friends? Yeah. I really enjoy talking to people. I would like you. Teddy Ruxpin, the storytelling bear, comes with illustrated book and cassette from Worlds of Wonder. These three people are brothers. They're in a band. Ugh. In 2009, they created a band called Jonas. It's a spin-off band and show called Jonas from a show called Hannah Montana, whose star now makes a living selling pancakes. Now, wait, what? Oh. Cambot's informing me that she was just dancing and pancake is the shape of her butt. Duly noted. And while I'd love to talk more about Hee Haw Hannah over here, I'm going to move on to this Disney toxic pit that seems to spew out these child acts with little regard to decency, child welfare, or basic taste. Uh, but since my man-ape genitals apparently are on the line, let's see how this game works. Well, okay, maybe it's not going to give you a tummy, you know, vajon, but it'll brainwash you into buying the so-called music of these heathen chuds with eyes for your preteen daughters, and that in itself is pretty awful, right? The game, though, it isn't that bad. I had to grab somebody, as I've said before, to, to play this game, and they did, and it just, it's not that bad. Actually, it's a game where you, as Jonas, perform on stage with a little rudimentary rhythm game that is, oh my god, it's actually fun. Yeah, it's a bunch of mini-games celebrating the band Jonas, which no one should do, and their inoffensive bid to get the youth dollar in the music sphere. I mean... It, but it's fun, though. I mean, the audio and graphics are fine for a portable game, and without my old man bias... Oh, God, I'm going to vomit. It's actually not that offensive in terms of a game. But we, aboard the Retro Station, are left with one important question. Yes, it is a soulless money grab, and yes, it is insidious, and yes, it's terrible. But does Disney Jonas... Disney for Nintendo DS, Disney, Disney Jonas, Disney, have a license to play? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. I mean, if you're a fan of the Brothers Jonas and their Disney-approved music and such, this piece of software will give you the limit of what you need in terms of Jonas-tastic fun and excitement. And it's not a bad game. Commander, I'm sorry you didn't get to evaluate a proper game this year. But it seems like the sponsors are huge Jonas Brothers fans for some reason. And I bet they'll love this evaluation. <laughs> yeah, I sense that. But it's pretty cool they really love the idea of Christmas, that's for sure. And they even created a space Santa Claus. You know, from space. Affirmative, Commander. Kind of crazy if you ask me, but man, I wish I could have reviewed something good. If only to celebrate a true holiday gem... A classic based on the reason for the season, Christmas. If Space Santa's watching right now, you know what? Last year, you might have heard this, but you know, I know you heard our wish because you helped us with all of the fruitcake. Well, just listen to this. Why are there so many jokes about fruitcake? And how it's a lousy gift. Fruitcakes are tasty, and as gifts they are thoughtful. It is my Christmas wish. But so you've been told, but don't you dare believe it. Fruitcake's the best. Wait and see. Christmas is coming. I hope I get 
fruit cake. I hope Santa don't forget about me. Take one part candied fruit, some nuts and some spices. Add some spirits to taste. Fruit cakes amazing. I wish I had taste buds. I just don't get all of the hate. Fruit cake means Christmas and sharing and laughter. Fruit cake could save all mankind. Someday we'll get some of that sweet love in fruitcake. Camba Jr., dear Margo, and I. La da da dee da da do. I know that it's probably magic. I hope I get some kind of Christmas. I kind of wish it. Okay, uh, okay, look. You evaluated the Jonas Brothers without being a dick. Not an easy task in these cruel times. It wouldn't be right if Space Santa was a dick. So here's your Christmas gift, Commander Dan. Oh, wow. Is this right? Holy shit. Uh, nanigans. No swearing right. Wow, thanks, Space Santa. From Space! Jigsaw or a monopoly money We only want 